There once was a river, a very, very pretty river. And somehow, I don't think you ever really know how, this poison got into it. The river still looked pretty as ever, got prettier even. But if you drank from it, it would poison you too. Have a seat. I'm gonna miss you here. I'm sure you'll get over it. No, I mean it. You were one of my first cases. We've been through a lot together. Yes, we have. This is your probation package. You call in once a week. If you leave town, I have to know it. And you give me your address and phone number as soon as you've got one. Any non-compliance, you're in violation, and I can have you arrested at my discretion. Your discretion won't be necessary. I know it won't. You've got a job at the post office downtown in the city. They know your record, but they take our recommendation. They find a list of apartments, all nearby or subway close. Is that all clear? Yes, it's very neatly typed. There's just one thing. This doesn't say where I'm supposed to meet my contact. What contact? Come on, Jane, we both know what we're talking about. No, Dennis, I don't know what you're talking about. My job placement contact? Cut it out. You're playing with the wrong person. Now you get this straight. There's no room for fantasy out there. You stay in reality, you hear? If you do, I think you'll find that the world is a pretty decent place. I'm sure I will. Morning, Dennis. Morning, B.
Nothing ever changes around here. What's that? The world could be falling apart and the headlines in Winslow were a couple arrested for lascivious carriage. An interesting phrase. Folks have been making out on Fall Road for as long as I remember. Don't know why they don't just leave him alone. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a little lascivious carriage now and then, is there? Cops are probably just jealous they weren't doing it themselves. <laughs> um, do you um, care for some breakfast, Dennis? No, thanks. I already had a high-protein health bar. Hello? Miss Ozenauer? Yes? This is David Brooks at the post office. Your boy Dennis Pitt was a no-show. Just have to give it a little hit. Thanks. See you, Sam.
looking at the whole line. Take the stuff over. Yes, sir. these days. Walk with me. Excuse me? I said walk with me, please. I need your help. If you're going to make the trip, you're going to have to get it. Thank you. Just stay between me and the street. What's going on? Act perfectly natural. Put your arm around me. What? I don't even know you. Like we're lovers. Look, mister. Do you know the man walking the dog? I've never seen him before. We're headed for that car lot. We're going to take a look at the brown cutlass. Look, How about the woman walking me... towards us? She's a hairdresser. Don't be so sure. Stay close, you'll be safe. Know what your name is. Why don't we take a look under the hood? Sure thing. She's a real beauty. You just check her out. Best deal on the lot. Well, uh, you just take your time here. You have any questions? Just give me a holler, I'll be inside. You know, I think I've seen you before, in the school hallway. I saw you too, that's how I knew you'd be the kind of help. My name's Dennis Pitt, I work at Sausenfelds, there's nothing to be afraid of. Sue Ann Stephanie. We're supposed to know each other, remember? Just keep talking. Stepanek. Is that Bulgarian? Russian. Do you mind telling me what exactly it is we're... I had to use you. It was the only way I have a jam, and don't think I don't appreciate it. Kiss me. What? I said kiss me, and don't stop until I tell you. <laughs> you got a car? Yeah. It's right over there by the bridge. The Mustang? Yes. I might need that tomorrow night. What are you going to be doing? I've got a game. Mr. Dennis, whatever your Football name. Game. I'm not so sure I want to. I'll meet you there. You've already been more help than you could possibly know, Sue Ann Stefanik. Thank you. Good. Good what? 
the way you used my name sounded quite natural. We have an obvious rapport. Do you have a cigarette? I don't smoke. It burns out your lungs. Don't you know that people die of smoke inhalation all the time? I wasn't going to inhale. I just wanted my mother to smell it on me. It would really piss her off. Pissing off your parents doesn't usually pay, Sue Ann Stepanek. Well, you'd want to piss her off too if you met her. And your father? You want to piss him off too? They're not together. He left her when I was four. I'm sorry. Are there any guys that might be upset about you and me here? No. I mean, just my dad. Why? He wouldn't be following in a green four-wheel, would he? No, he drives a Lexus. Don't turn around. Sorry. You think it's the poodle man? No. It turns out he was just a man with a poodle. Probably couldn't take that corner. Where's this go? Down to Fall Lake. For now. So, um, you think you can tell me now? Tell you what? What we're doing. What's going on. Listen, I think it'd be better if you didn't ask so many questions for now, okay? I'm alone in the woods with a man I just met. What kind of girl wouldn't ask questions? What kind of girl would be alone in the woods with a man she just met? practically kidnapped me the other day, snatched my car tonight. I think I have a right to know what's going on. Sorry. That's classified. Thanks for the ride. You're in trouble, aren't you? What'd you do, rob a bank? I know. You're a car thief. That's why you brought me here. And now you chickened out and changed your mind. Go home, Sue Ann Stepanik. You didn't kill someone. Or hurt them, did you? Look, I can't talk about it, okay? But it was something. I know. You're in the witness protection program. That's why you brought me here, and that's why you can't talk about it. Do you think someone's found you? I just work at Sossenfelds, okay? Absolutely. Don't worry, I won't tell anybody anything. We'd best not be seen together. I'll walk back. Wait. Don't you want to practice our cover? You know. Like in the car lot? Mother's going out tomorrow night. We can have the house all to ourselves. It's 14 Fresh Air Lane. Come about 8. Dream of me. See you then. Eisenhower? We want you to call her back at this number. Sure it wasn't Eisenhower. That's what I said. Did you say what she wanted? I don't know if you worked here. Mr. Munch? Actually, I'm not feeling so well. I was wondering if I could maybe clock out early.
Hello? Oh, Sue Anna, I didn't expect that you'd be home. I'm studying. Or at least trying to. All I can think about is tonight. Oh, Sue Anna, I... Sue Anna! I gotta leave town. I said I would take care of it, Mother! I'm on the phone! I've really gotta go. I can't wait to see you. Bye. What's the matter? She kicked me out. Why? She changed her plan. She's staying in tonight, so of course I'm the one that gets kicked out. Swim. Do you know that I've been on the cheerleading squad for three years and she's never once come to a game? Not one single game. I'm team captain and she still doesn't come. God, I hate her. And I hate him too. Who? Benjamin, her stupid idiot boyfriend. Yeah, well, look. I need God, to talk. Look at that. She looks pretty. What, are you interested in her too? No. Look at him. He thinks that's what makes a man. His stupid car, his expensive suits. Do you really hate him? Yeah. I hate them both. Start the car. What are you gonna do? Pull out to the street and keep the lights off. I'll be right back. Eisenhower is coming to Winslow. She ordered a change in my status. I have to leave. What? First thing in the morning. I have to. Why? It's kind of complicated. Dennis, you can't leave. Not now. Not after this. Tell me. I'll show you. Here. Here what? What do you think? I think it's a river, Dennis. What is going on? What else? I think it's trees. It's the moon. It's pretty. Yeah? Take a closer look. 
Yuck. What's that from? They're dumping waste somehow. There's an intake pump house upstream. Maybe they're also pumping out through it. Well, what does that have to do with you? My assignment here is done. I found what I was looking for. That's what you do. You're one of those green people that go around terrorizing polluters. Don't tell me no, I know that's what it is. I can't stay. I'm here, doesn't that matter? If you really cared about me, you'd stay. If you really cared about this, you'd stay too. You'd stay and you'd figure out how they're doing it and you'd stop them. You'll be a hero, Dennis, and I'll help you. We'll be on every news station together. <laughs> Listen to me. Do you have any idea what my life was like before I met you? It's how not that simple. How empty I felt? L Listen to me. I work undercover for the government. That's what I'm doing here. Now that I found this, they're reassigning me. Please, promise me you're gonna stay. I'm supposed to turn it over to my superiors, to Eisenhower. No, Dennis. Don't give it to the government. All they ever do is just talk. I've never met anyone like you. So, Anne... Promise me you're gonna stay. Promise me, Dennis. This is where they're secretly discharging waste. He's killing all the fish. Dennis, I'm here to talk about you. You broke your probation. Did you really think I wouldn't find you? I knew you were coming. I wasn't running. No? Well, what do you call it then? What are you going to do? Take me back to the barred windows and the witch doctors? I should cuff you and take you back right now. And it won't be such a cozy place this time. I'm Sorry. not going back. Believe me, I'm not. Dennis. It was a step-by-step -step program. You didn't even go to the post office. You don't want your post office. Somebody watching over me, giving me looks. I know where you've been. I know what you've done. That's not life. Life is what I want. I want to start clean. I want to start fresh. I'm not the enemy, Dennis. We're partners. I want you back on your feet as much as you do. That's what life is. Relationships, partnerships, caring for others. You can't go through life just thinking of yourself. I'm in love here. Who? Her name is Sue Ann. She's beautiful and she's pure and she's clean and she takes me for what I am. And you're... You're doing all right with her? Yeah. I want to believe you, Dennis. But what? You want to take all that away from me? Haven't I paid for what I did? What are you afraid of? That I'll run away and blow up cities? That I'll rape and I'll burn and I'll destroy and I'll get arrested for lascivious carriage? Dennis? Or are you just afraid I don't need you anymore? That I can rehabilitate myself? I have got 50 more cases than I can handle right now. Good, then why not you just leave me alone? This is my head on the line. You plan on staying here in Winslow? I won't be sorry. I promise. On condition that you stick here and you stick with this job and you call in every single day until I say otherwise. And you send in your pay stubs every week just to be sure. That's a good idea. And if you don't, I'll come back. And next time, I will take you in. Thank you, Jake. Really.
you're fired. Be advised, hazmat. Why? Hazmat schedule Let me ask you. Do you really think a chemical plant is a place for a guy with your record? Fired? Why? Why do you think? Well, he didn't say he was going to fire you. Let me give him a call and see if I can straighten things out. No. I don't think it'll help. Anyway, I got something better lined up already. That's what I was going to tell you. Really? What is it? It's uh, a place called Silver Mills. It's here in Winslow. All right, but Dennis, tell them this time. Be up front with them, but this will follow you around forever. Let them hear the truth from you, not from me. Do you hear right? I told them already, and they're okay with it. They just said they wanted to talk to you. That's great. I'm proud of you. You know I'll help you in any way I can. I'll talk to you soon? Yeah, I'll be in touch. All right, goodbye. Caught you? How could you let them catch you? I didn't let them catch me. Someone tipped them off. They did a background check and found out that I had a record. What did you do, Dennis? Did you go to jail? I went to Kenneth M. Gordon Correctional Facility. I've never met anybody that went to jail before. Look, so in. You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. What's past is past, and I understand. I contact Eisenhower. She's here. I stalled her. I told her I was on some other places where she'd let me stay. But I'm going to need your help. I'd do anything to help you, Dennis. Don't you know that by now? Okay, she's going to sound like a probation officer. Don't let that throw you. This is part of her cover. Hello, Miss Eisenhower? Yes? Yes, this is a Susan Ross in personnel at Silver Mills Industries here in Winslow. Yes, we're interested in hiring a Dennis Pitt uh, in waste management. And he suggested we get in touch with you? Oh, yes, he said someone might be calling. Uh, we have some forms we need you to fill out, if that's possible. I'd be happy to. And we must admit that we are very impressed with Dennis's frankness about his history. I'm glad to hear that. I think you'll enjoy working with him. Uh, where should I send the forms? Um, market attention personnel, Silver Mills Industry, P.O. Box 1762, Winslow, 04949. And I'll see that it's taken care of. Yes, Penny, you can send them right in. You'll have to excuse me now, Miss Eisenhower. Goodbye now. Great. That was great. Why do you have a P.O. box? Oh, that's just where my dad sends me stuff. If he sent it to the house, my mother would probably tear it up. You said you were going to stay, and you're really going to stay, aren't you? Yes, I am. So head Stepanek. And tonight we're going to do something exciting. Really exciting. What? Go home and get changed. Put on dark clothes and rendezvous with me here at 2000 hours. And if you have binoculars, bring them. We've got a bit of a problem. All of a sudden, the old hags decided to care about me. What do you mean? Well, first she kicks me out, now she won't let me out. At least not until you come here. She wants to meet you, check you out. Can you come? Oh, man. I told you she was a problem. Now maybe you'll believe me. What did you tell her? Don't worry, nothing bad. Just come here and be a gentleman, and she'll fall in love with you just like I did. <sighs> I gotta go. Bye. Mom, can I borrow your black turtleneck? Sure. So Anne says you're at Sassenfels. Uh, yeah. A waste treatment specialist? Waste treatment systems analyst. Oh, forgive me. Either way, it's impressive. Where did you study? Oh, he went to Kenneth M. Gordon Institute. It's East Coast, very prestigious. You don't have to be embarrassed. 
It's an enchanting quality, Dennis. Don't flirt, Mother. It isn't becoming. We should really get going. So, what are you going to see? Oh, we were going to see a triple X at the Pussycat in Halifax. Hmm. Sounds exciting. See, most mothers would be upset if their teenage daughters were going to a porno house. <laughs> Honey, most mothers don't know that the Pussycat has been closed for over a year. But of course you do. I'm in real estate. Come on, let's go. I'm sorry, Dennis. It's really my fault. I should have given her a sibling to have this rivalry with. Rivalry? Give me a break. I'm well aware that I'm not in your league, Mother, especially when it comes to men. Come on, let's get you out of here. May I ask how old you are? Yeah, Talk about inappropriate. Don't answer. I don't mind. Well, I do. Sue Ann, I'm still your mother. I have a right to know certain things about the company you keep. And since when do you care? I'm 20. Don't answer. Come on, Dennis. Fine, I'm going by myself. I apologize. Yeah, you better go. Dennis, however old you are, my daughter is still just in high school. I trust that your intentions with her are honorable. Yes, ma'am. Honorable? God, she was practically slobbering all over you. I didn't get that sense. Then you're blind. Oh, God, what a joke. Honorable. So what are we doing? Did you bring the binoculars? water gets pumped through. If we do this right, the first load up, the whole thing comes crashing down. So if they're dumping out through, it'll get discovered. And if they're not, the dead fish will still alert them that they're dumping somehow. Exactly. So it's a win both ways. Win, 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 slow. That'll teach them to fire Dennis Pitt. Do you know how to use one of these? Uh-huh. You start working on the first tower. I'll start here.
Everyone start climbing down. No funny business, I got a gun. Uh, keep your hands up there where I can see them. Pitt? What, what are you doing here? Hit him, Dennis. God, look at all the blood. That's Sam Joyles. Does the government cover this, Dennis? Hmm. What are we gonna do? Well, that depends. You mean on how he is? Get down. That's what killed him. He was dead, Dennis. God, what a night. Let's do it. Me, Dennis. So I am. I'm so hot. I'm not in the mood. Oh, I'll get you in the mood. Get dressed and out of the car? We're not undressed. Then get out of the car. Any alcohol or drugs? No, sir. Not in the vehicle. That would be illegal. Let's see some ID. She's at the high school. She's a cheerleader. How old are you, Pom Pom? We weren't doing anything wrong, sir. Can't two people just ID. Seventeen, huh? I just said I was a senior. Get in the car, Pitt. Let's go. We'll follow you to your house. Your state statute, ma'am, a 17-year-old girl is still... There won't be any charges filed. You're a lucky guy. You change your mind now? I know where to find you. Good night. Good night. Well, so much for honorable intentions. Oh, leave him alone, Mother. Maybe it's just not my looks I come by, honestly. I'm sorry. For what? Our clothes were on. We weren't even kissing. We didn't do anything, Dennis. For the embarrassment? You could have been a little more discreet. What's wrong, Mom? Coming a little too close to home? Sue Ann. See, I was conceived in a convertible. Sue Ann, please. Mother was young and poor. This is not necessary. Dad was rich and older. She really wanted an abortion, but I was more valuable to her alive, wasn't I? 
She forced him to marry her. And now, well, here we all are. Contrary to what my daughter might have told you, I have tried to be a good mother. Wait, let me go get the violin. Sometimes I have failed, but I have tried. When? I want you to have a good life and not make the same kind of mistakes that I have made. Like me. Well, I better go. No, I want you to stay. Finish what we started. We'll go upstairs and be discreet, just like Mother and Benjamin. <gasps> oh, oh! Good night. Are you happy now? Bravo, Mother.
is Sue Ann. I can't take your call, but here's a beat for your message. Sue Ann? But much. I'm sure you heard about the accident at the plant today. Yes, sir. I'm really sorry about Sam Joyles. Well, there are some investigators here, Pitt, interviewing everyone. I'd like you to drop by. Yeah, well, I'm no longer an employee. Yeah, they know that. Come anyway. I'll come right down. Do that. Mr. Munz here says you're on probation. Yeah. Arson. Yes, sir. You did some time. Yes, sir. Kenneth M. Gordon. Where's that? It's downstate. Bell County. The Kenneth M. Gordon Correctional Facility. For the criminally disturbed. Hmm. Must have been a big fire. Yes, sir, it was. I was just 15 at the time. What happened was an accident. Oh. Just like this thing here today, right? I guess so. Did you know Sam Joyles? A little bit. Do you know anyone who had something against him? No. You think someone killed him? Maybe. I thought the pipe fell on him. It did. The snaps on his holster were also open. And his gun's missing. And he hadn't clocked in his rounds since 1016 last night. You didn't happen to be out this way, did you? Here, see anything strange? No, sir. I was on the other side of town, out by Fall Lake. Trying to figure out with my girlfriend what I was going to do for a new job. Actually, we almost got arrested. A couple of sheriff's deputies thought we were getting a little too close when I got cold. Mr. Munch says you were pretty upset yesterday. Yeah. I'm going to have to leave. There's no work here other than the plant. That'd make me mad if I had a girlfriend here in town. Make me real mad. If I wanted to kill someone, it'd be Munch here, not Joyles. He's the one that fired me. What about the pipe? What about loosening the bolts on the foundation? Is that what happened? Yeah. You know anyone who want to do that? You can kill Sam Joyles? No. Okay, that's it for now. Let us know where you end up, okay? Sure. We may want to be in touch.
doing here? They're searching the water. Don't worry, they can't see us. How do you think I got here? Dennis, calm down. We're just citizens watching the excitement. We have to get out of here. I want to watch. They're looking for his gun. He lost it. I know. Oz and Noah's here. I saw her heading for the factory. So when the cops question me, they know. Know what? Everything. They know the bolts were unscrewed. So what? They don't know it was us. I saw it in their eyes. They know. They were trying to trip me up. Why do you think Oz and Noah's here? They called her. No, Dennis, that's not it. We've had a bit of a bad break. See, Eisenhower's papers were in my mailbox this morning. She must have sent them out right away. I went home to pick something up and left them on the front seat of my car. Mother found them. What's the matter? I know, I know, it was a stupid thing, but see, that's why Eisenhower's here. She called her. I tried to warn you, but you weren't there. Where were you? I called you all day. I didn't know she'd seen them, so I went to school, business as usual. You came by? Yeah. So did Mom and Eisenhower. Oh, God. They pulled me out of sex ed, but don't worry, I didn't tell them anything. I told them the Silver Mills thing was just to buy you some more time. And she has to take me back. Your own contact? Well, she knows I was lying to her. What Eisenhower said about your record? Is it true? What? That you killed your parents. So we end. It was an accident. There was this girl, Nina. I was 15. She was 17, senior in high school, just like you. I loved her. And she loved me. Just like me. One night we were born in the garage and my mother caught us. It wasn't dirty. We were in love. My mother told me to come inside and go downstairs in the basement and see my father. There was firewood down there. And he beat me with it. He'd beat me with each piece until it would break or until he would drop it. Then he'd pick up another one until I was just a lump on the floor. But that's not what it was meant for. So I decided to use it for what it was meant for. After they'd gone out, I piled it all up. And I let it. I didn't know they'd come back. I didn't know they were in the house. I swear I didn't know. I love you, Sue Ann. I love you, Dennis Pitt. But we've got a bit of a problem, see? Mother has gotten a restraining order. She went nuts. She hit me. Oh, I know, she put on a really good show last night, but now that she's seen your record and talked to Eisenhower? It doesn't matter anymore anyway, does it? Doesn't matter? They're gonna take me in. They're gonna find out and probably take us both in. Not if they can't find us. Not if we run. Run where? Far. The Bay of Mexico. Dennis, let's get married. What? Nothing can tear us apart. We won't let anything tear us apart. Ask me. Ask me like you would if none of this had ever happened. Ask me to marry you.
write that number down. I'll call you at exactly 11 o'clock. If everything's going as planned, I'll let it ring twice and then hang up. If everything's not going as planned, pick up after the third ring and I'll be at some phone booth somewhere where we can talk. This is the blanket we first made love on. Maybe we should get you something warmer. No, I'll be okay. Sandwiches, six sodas, chocolate bars, flashlight, and, and homeopathic calming pills in case you need them. I'll pick you up here in the morning after Mother leaves. She's going to Devonshire on some big deal, so she won't be a problem. Then we'll go back to my house, get everything in order, and then Mexico. Over well, a week. I saw you on Monday, met you on Tuesday, fell in love with you on Wednesday, and on Thursday we killed a guy together. How's that for a crazy week? Kiss me. I love you, Sue Ann. Look weird if I'm back late from lunch. I'm on the honor roll, you know. Sue Ann, we won't wear any bathing suits in the Bay of Mexico. What a nut. <laughs>
I think we should give ourselves up. What? It's the best way. We just come forward and tell them everything, the truth, right from the beginning. Oh, God, Dennis. You're the one with the experience accidentally killing people. You know what happens. I had a rough night. You poor thing. You don't know how much I wanted you with me. I could hardly sleep last night thinking of you out here. Come on, get in. Sue Ann, come on, we gotta get going. It's been 20 minutes. Hold on. What can I do? You can tell me what your preference is. These or these? Both. Mine's not. How many pairs do you need? About 10. Socks? I'll get them. I know which Just ones. Just tell me. Hold on. Don't you want me to look nice? What's this? Well, that's my brother Michael. Who looks just like Benjamin. You think so? You know you're right. I never noticed that before. It's kind of sick, huh? Get me uh, three white anklets and two heathers. Your mother said you didn't have any siblings. Not by her. He's my half-brother. He lives with my father. That's why I have to hide it. in just like your parents. I thought you said she went to Devonshire. I thought she did. We're gonna hide. She'll see all of this. Well, don't let her in. She'll come in. Let's get it all away. In the closet. No, we're gonna have to do it now. I really hoped we wouldn't have to. Have to do what? Come here. It's the Watchmans. I got it just in case. We have to get rid of this. We have to shoot her and then get rid of it. There's no other way, Dennis, don't you see? This is the only way for us to be together. Otherwise, it's Ozenauer for you and God knows what for me. You don't want to go back where you were. Mother got a restraining order, Dennis. If she sees you here, it's over. Over. So, Anne, you up? Hi, Mom. Dennis, you've killed before. You can do it again. What's the big deal? She'll never let us be together. Never. Honey, I got your non fat blueberry muffins. Thanks. Could you bring them up? This is our only chance. I love you. Please don't let me spend the rest of my life without you. She's coming up. If she finds you here, she'll beat me just like your father beat you.
really married. Let's do it married people too. I don't think I can. Okay, then let's get rid of the body. Don't answer it. Hi, this is Sue Ann. I can't take your call, but here's a beat for your message. This is Jane Eisenhower. Dennis Pitt's case. Don't get it. I I'm told in her to call. Oh, where it's is better paying. we control her. I got a message here to give you a call. Hello? Uh, Sue Ann, I got a note here at Dennis's room asking me to call you. Yes, I wanted to let you know that I'd heard from him and, and he's gone. Gone? Where? I'm not really sure. I think maybe Halifax? I'm sorry, what was that? I said I think he'd gone to Halifax. You know, you sound an awful lot like a Miss Ross who called me from a silver mills industry that doesn't exist. Really? You also sound like a Barbara Stepanek who called me and said she was your mother. People say I sound and look just like my mother, only younger, more, um, lively, you know? Listen, I don't know what your game is, but if you're protecting Dennis, I'd like to speak to him. I'm not protecting him. Why do you think I called you? But, um, look, I can't talk right now. My mother's gone, and, and my mother's gone, and, and I've got to run. Sue Ann, are you trying to tell me something? Sure you can come over. I just might not be here. Is he there? Are you in some kind of danger? It's 14 Fresh Air Lane. Damn it, she's coming over. Why? I don't know, but we gotta get her out of here. Yeah. Uh, why didn't you open the trunk? Open the trunk. those rocks. When you get to the lake, tie them around her with this and throw her in deep. Why do you have this? Her clothesline was broken. But you don't have a clothesline. Duh, that's why we're fixing it. Come on, Dennis, we gotta go. This in deep. Now I'll get everything cleaned up here and get rid of Oz an hour. And then they have Mexico. Sue Ann? If I didn't really work for the government, if I was just a guy who accidentally killed his parents, would you still love me? I'd love you no matter what, Dennis Pitt. I've noticed you have quite a capacity for loving.
Could you give me the police, please? Hold while I connect you. Winslow Police Department. Yes, I'd like to speak to the chief. I'll connect you. Chief Maggotty. This is Dennis Pitt. I met the phone booth out by Fall Lake. I'd like to report a murder. Okay. What do you mean, okay? Go ahead, what's the story? About the murder? Yeah. Well, the victim is Barbara Stepanik of 14 Fresh Air Lane. And who's the murderer? I am. All right, nice and easy now. I said hands up! That was quick. He had the gun to my head when I called Miss Eisenhower and said I was my mother. He wanted me to hear what his record was, to know how dangerous he was, so I would do what he said. You mean to help him strike back at Sassenfels? I honestly think that that watchman was just at the wrong place at the wrong time. But Dennis said he had to kill him. I guess it was a good way to get the gun, too. Take your time, honey. My mother saw through him from the very beginning. I guess that's why he wanted her out of the way. He shot her right there in front of me. as if I feel a bit responsible for this myself. Please. Get him out of here. I loved you, Joanne. I really loved you. Get in there. Here you go, honey. So good to me. It just doesn't make sense, Dennis. It doesn't make sense. I'm criminally disturbed, remember? You know my record. I know you are many things, but you're not a cold-blooded killer, and I've known them. Then maybe you don't know everything you think you do. That's why I'm asking you, Do you want to spend the rest of your life in here? People generally stay where they're best off, don't they? I have everything I need, food, clothing, shelter. The shelter's very solid. But you don't belong in here, Dennis, so please, just tell me the truth. Will you at least take a polygraph test? It won't help. It can help. Do you think that anyone's going to listen? I'm listening. If you don't want to do it for your own self, then please, just do it for me. I promise it won't leave this room. Don't you see I am the only friend you have? There once was a river. A very, very pretty river. And somehow, I don't think you ever really know how this poison got into it. The river still looked as pretty as ever, got prettier even. But if you drank from it, it would poison you too. And yet if you told people and tried to stop them from drinking from it, they would just look at the pretty river and they wouldn't believe you. So it was best to stay away, somewhere safe and leave the poison there to spread, getting worse and worse, like poison always does. Spreading until the blindest man could see. Until he had to see. Go on. I'm sorry, Jane. 
people really only pay attention to what they discover for themselves. So long. Dennis. If you're ever back in Winslow, see what Sue ends up to, would you? I'll do that. What do you say? Well, I'd like to, but... But what? I don't know anyone else in town. Come on. It's just, well... My mother was murdered a little while ago. Murdered? It was awful. But, well, you know, life goes on. Did they catch who did it? Oh, yeah. He had been in an institution before. God, they let these people walk around. And you would never know. Most of them look and act just as normal as you or me. And then... <laughs> but, well... I live with my dad right now, and... He's a bit of a problem. What kind of a problem? Well... He's really rich, and he gives me anything I want, but he just doesn't like me going out with older guys. Well, there's ways to work around that, you know. Oh, yeah? Yeah, where there's a will, there's a way. Hmm. So how about it? Why don't you meet me here after work, and we'll figure something out. All right. I could use some help like you. I gotta get back to the plant. See you later. I'll see you at five. 